Hello gang. Hello. <laughs> My voice went funny. Hello gang friends. Welcome back. It's time for another character video. Today it's Bart. What happens when you... <laughs> I realised where I was going with that sentence. It's not good, but I'm going to do it anyway. What happens when you mix March and Homer together? You get Bart. I'm sorry, that was a bit disgusting. We're going to do the same ombre, stop shouting, that we have done on Marge and Homer. We're using an anonymous blue and I Heart NY from Madame Glam. And we're going to ombre them together with an ombre brush. Um, you can get, oh, it's July still, so you can still get 50% off um, at Madame Glam using the link in the description of this video and the code Miss Joe for 50% off. It will make sense in the basket, might not show reflected on the price in the basket, but the total will reflect said discount. Doesn't work on bundles apparently, um, but individually it does, so just get them that way. All looks the same when they arrive. Okay, is everybody all right? Are you ready to go with drawing Bart? Let's get the serious bit out of the way. I'm using white this time. We're going to start with a circle, just like that. I regret using white because once I'd painted over everything, I couldn't see the white underneath. I knew there was a reason I'd been using brown. So we've got one circle. Then between eight and nine o'clock on that circle slash clock face, we're going to do a little diagonal up to about the same as the diameter, no, the radius of the, <laughs> about the diameter of the circle in length. <laughs> then we're going to curve it with a C, but don't finish the C. Kind of get bored of painting the C just before you do the bottom of it and then draw a little line at the end of it. Now we're going to take this eye. This eye's a bit weird because it comes up as if it's going to be a circle and then it stops at the tip of the nose and then kind of comes inwards as if it's not a proper circle shape. But that's what it does. And then from the tip of the nose, we're going to come straight, no, angled, just a tiny angle. We're going to come down and then little flick on the end, like a tiny L. And then from about a quarter way into the eye, we're using this as our marker. We're going to mark a dot out there and then join these, join that up. But it does come down. So where we're coming uh, into the face from the where the lip came out, the angle of that line does go down. And then that next bit goes straight. And that was just to the right of the eye, the first eye. I'm talking like you know, going in a straight line from just to the right of the first eye. <laughs> I'm so glad that you enjoy me trying to um, fumble my way through these. We gave him a little smile and then under where the nose starts, where we started the nose, we've got another little L. That's his bottom lip and then a straight line for his neck, connect. And then at about 11 o'clock, we're going to do another one of those C's. So we start the C and then, no, nope, give up. Just end it there. Just like that. He's got Homer's brow. And then we're going center up from the eye. We're going to make a point about that high up. Higher than you think it should be. And then we're going to bring that down to meet the brow bone at a bit of an angle. because his, his hair kind of tilts backwards. And then, oh, we've got seven. So we've got this little line here, which kind of went down. I made a note of where it went down angle-wise to one eye and straight down from the point, from the bottom of the point to the other eye. And then we have seven full little triangles. I tried to do them one by one, We're mapping it out with eyes and fucking all these other points and then just thought, no, just do seven triangles. There were, it was more than I thought it would be. And then at the end of it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the last one. Those kind of go 
left a bit, in the middle they go kind of middle a bit, and then there's the right, they go to the right a little bit, just to kind of bring his head back. And now at 2 p.m. from the eyeball, we're going to do a dot and join that to there. Just 2 p.m. but coming outwards, obviously, if you can see. Now I'm making it wider, so ignore that. <laughs> I'm going to just wipe off my first line so we can see better what we're doing. And then his ear is between the bottom of the nose and that little smile, the curve at the end of his mouth, goes between there and it's a little C. You can do the full C here because it does go into his um, face. And then we'll do a straight line down to where his neck is. Okay, face is done. Now we're going to curve his neck, easy peasy. And then what are we doing? From his smile, oh, okay, so from his smile, we'll come down a bit and do a dot there because we're going to do an arm here. So we're just going to do a big U shape that comes quite close at the top to his neckline. Bring it down to that dot that's underneath the smile end and then round and it comes a little bit lower on that side, just like that. And then we'll join those with a curve. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing so, so far? I kind of enjoy this bit because I know how much I cock it up. <laughs> and then we're going to do his arm. So we're going to come in a little bit from the sleeve on each side and just do two straight lines, but they're at a bit of an angle. That's that. And then we need to Oh, no, I thought we were going somewhere else. Oh, made, made it a bit longer. Oh, yeah. So we made the bit on the right a bit longer, same as we did with the right side of the sleeve, and then joined them with a diagonal line because it's sticking in his pocket. And then we're coming out with a little curve from his neck that comes to the end of the sleeve. And then this curve comes out even further and comes to the end of the left side of his arm. Yeah, just use every everything you do, use as a guide for the next thing. Well, we did a little curve there to join his neck to his shoulder, and then we'll do another curve coming out just a bit below his sleeve, and that's the his back. Okay, are we going to bring that tummy down a bit more, maybe? No. And then we're going to curve from his, just above where his wrist started, and on the back as well, that's the top of his t-shirt. No, nope, it's the bottom. <laughs> and then we bring a little curve out here for the arm, that we, for the t-shirt sleeve, and then just join it with a straight line. I end up bringing that out further because I wanted to get more, see this little line here that we've just done, that's his arm. We'll talk about what I do differently when we get to it. His shorts, about halfway between the bottom of his t-shirt that we've just done on the left to, of the arm we're doing a little dot and then we're going to curve round but that curve as I say it starts a little bit in from where the t-shirt ends and the same on the back we'll curve this round to where that side of the arm ends because then we're going to go down we're doing his shorts we're getting more of his body on because he's smaller than Homer and Marge so we're getting more of his body on, which I like because it was just more fun stuff to colour in. And then we'll join those up with a curve. So two little straight lines, join them with a shallow curve. And I don't know what I'm trying to point out here. Legs. Skinny little legs inside, inside the trousers, inside the short leg. Not the same width as. Oh, and then I forgot to press record. So I came out a bit and just did a little sort of one side of a, two sides of a square um, and another leg. And that was that. Then we cure, hard parts done. Is everybody okay? Should we all have a lie down? <laughs> so now we're just going to fill everything in. His eyes, this is the Madame Glam white gel paint. Highly recommend getting their gel paints with the 50% off. Um, again, not sure if you can get them as a bundle because I think their bundles of things are all um, discounted anyway. So individually, um, I'd, I'd get all of them if you wanted, <laughs> um, but definitely the blacks and whites. 
And then we're going to use the yellow gel paint and I'm going to paint all of his skin areas. And then on this one, and I'm kind of annoyed because I then add, like I've done with Marge and Homer, I add a bit of the Madame Glam Sun Days um, gel polish to do the second coat because they aren't as bright as the yellow gel paint but they're not as dark as Sun Days by itself. So I do the first coat in the yellow gel paint just to have a bright kind of backbone for the second coat. But I mixed the yellow for him and I think it's much better than the mix I made because obviously I'm not keeping the mix, I'm making it fresh each time. Um, I think he's, his yellow's better than theirs. So, and I've messed around with them so much <laughs> between things um, that I'm kind of annoyed that his yellow colour is better than theirs. Maybe I'll do them again one day um, because I did faff around with them a bit. Do you remember how, now I'm doing the second coat, but I won't show you all of it because that's boring. Um, you remember how I did Marge's eyes and said I'd made the grey and her eyes too dark, so I did the same to Homer, and then I was just really annoyed about it, so I went over the eyes, over their top coat, over the eyes, did them in white, gave them new grey bits, top coated again, and they just look a bit, a bit bodged. Maybe just to me, um, because I, I know all the bits I've changed. Anyway, um... I have mixed some of the red gel paint and the orange gel paint and we're going to do his t-shirt. So yeah, his chest comes out in a little hump and then his tummy comes out, a bit like Homer's does. And then I, yeah, I've made this side of his sleeve way too big, it sticks out too far. But it, the yellow bit between the sleeve and the rest of the t-shirt would have been kind of non-existent otherwise and I wanted it to show. And now we're taking dynamic blue and a mystery teal, um, not a mystery teal, an anonymous teal. It's just from a brand that doesn't exist anymore. And we're going to do his shorts. So the, the dynamic blue was perfect for Homer's trousers, but I think Bart's are a bit more tealy. They were in the picture I was looking at anyway. <laughs> so we'll fill, we'll fill all that in. I'll speed these bits up because... It's just, just filling it in. No teachable moments here. Um, how's everybody? I hope you're okay. Thank you for all entering the competition. There's another giveaway on my channel at the moment for the Vetsy um, anniversary box. Um, and there's always discount codes for a bunch of nail places in the description. So you can go and check those out and save some money on your nail purchases. Purchases. <laughs> Sometimes I say things in a funny voice. Not a voice, like I say the word funny, like on purpose. And then I think, do people in other countries think that's how we pronounce it over here? Like, you know, like but I can't say the word knife ever. I have to say knife or knifey. Oh, I've added a bit more um, of something <laughs> to, the, to the red. I think I added a bit more orange and a bit of white just to change the colour of his t-shirt very slightly. You can't really tell, but I can tell, and now I can sleep at night. Um, so then I went over that. And now we're going to outline. So his smile, I made sure to do in two parts, because from this line here, where it goes, where the black goes left for his smile, I had to sort of, it took, it took a lot of concentration to make sure that that curve went downwards a bit. I did it like four times, and... I was telling myself the curve goes down, but it just kept coming out straight. Um, so we're going to outline everything with the black gel paint. I wonder if I can unplug this now. There we go. I suspect I've got a 14 minutes of you just hearing a cable rubbing on the bed sheets, lying on my bed. Is there anything I need to mention about the outline? Oh yes, little things like, um, like I said, the t-shirt, the outline of the shorts from where his t-shirt ends comes in a little bit below his t-shirt. On this bit here we go up one leg and then we'll join that all the way to there, the point where it's a bit further in than where his t-shirt ends. Little things like that make a difference I think, just noticing little um, things like that. I can't think of another way to, to try and say that. 
and then the shorts and then we're going to put the pocket in oh we're gonna we're gonna cure it just to be safe so we'll add the lines for his arm and then this line comes across the yellow and then comes out a little bit further Joseph there we go comes out a little bit further and then we have a little L here to indicate the pocket and then once we've finished outlining we'll get to highlighting and shading and things I think that's my favorite bit when they come to life um, his legs are a bit dodgy and I think I did change them by getting some of the pink from the background and going in between them and just correcting that and then these little spiky bits very carefully but don't overthink it like I say when I was doing the outline for these in white originally I did it a few times and then thought just 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 do lots of little bees don't don't overthink it um you don't have to do seven if that's um if you can't fit them in they were a lot smaller I needed to do them a lot smaller than I had expected and then his ear so the the C of the ear comes into the head a bit, comes into the yellow. And then let's not forget to add his little smile line, dimple, whatever you call that bit on your face. And his ear is a curve and then another curve going towards the inside of his head. See, Homer's went the other way because he was facing the other way. I've outlined his eyes off camera and then we've got the straight line the C that we don't finish we get kind of bored of there we go don't want to finish a C and then the bottom of his nose starts about the center of his eye on the left and join that up there we go we're going to add some pupils little black dots the tiny dotting tool they don't need to you don't need to press and move your dotting tool just a tiny little dot for the pupils and now we're going to mix um, BPCA06 and BPSG03 which are from Born Pretty Store another place you can get excuse me helicopter do you mind <laughs> trying to do a voiceover in here um, there might be someone lost at sea they'll be fine I'm sure um, <laughs> we're going to do his shading um, from the second or the penultimate triangle working left to right of his head I'm going to bring that all the way down to his neck and cover his ear as well and then it does kind of curve a bit there just where it gets to the bottom of the neck and then each one of these had a little bit of shading on the right side so we did that just oh did I highlight the other side I don't know oh I hope so and then we have a bit of shading as well on the bottom of his nose, the inside of his nose, but the bottom. And then we're going to do a bit under his sleeve and then down the side and then down the side of his legs as well. I mixed those two colours together. Did I mention that? Those two born pretty colours? Um, oh yeah, I was saying that that's another place you can that I have a discount code for. So now I'm going to mix the black jelly because that was a black jelly and a yellow jelly, by the way, forgot to say, sorry. I'm going to mix the black jelly with the t-shirt red and use that. And he's just got a bit of a shadow um, or, or yeah, shadow shading just on the back of his neck and down the, the sleeve, sleeve, Steve sleeve. And a bit on his, on the back section as well, but it was kind of close to the arm and then not shadow on the very right, you know, where the t-shirt ends, which I thought was weird. It was kind of like a triangle, but on the wrong side, but that's what it said to do. And then I've mixed the black jelly and the blue and we finished the L of that pocket and brought it round to where the hand's sticking in it. Um, and then we went down the leg on the inside of the other trouser leg shorts they're shorts and then we're using a light gray to do some crescent moons to the right of his eyes oh and now the highlights so mixing white with the skin yellow and we'll go down from the first little v at the top 
and into his brow bone a bit and we'll go on the opposite side of his nose at the top and curl it round just a smidge and then down here and uh, a little way into his mouth which I went over the black so scrape that off try again and then I decided to add some to his chin and then down his neck and then they also have some on the other side so all on the opposite side of where the shadows are we're going to put the highlight oh I should have should I have done one on each of his um spikes spikes that's what I should have been saying oh I should have done that oh well now we're mixing white with a little bit of the t-shirt red and we've got a highlight on the left of the sleeve and then down his chest and his tummy and then possibly on the other sleeve as well which just still it just sticks out too far but I think it's okay it'll do it's not it looks awful but I'm not doing it again and then I think oh then we're going to add some oh what are we doing now oh highlights on his trousers it's fucking shorts on his shorts eat my shorts eat my trousers <laughs> this is just there's just a tiny highlight there on the pocket and then I've added one on that side as well oh and then a bit of the yellow and black mix along the bottom of his mouth which wasn't in the picture but I've done it on all the others so let's do it on this one as well and then I added some Simpsons clouds the white with the blue which if you want to see I, I show more of in the Homer video I'll link all the videos for this series below uh, in the description sorry and I've put him so that he goes in between Marge and Homer because I didn't think there he is I didn't think about making the clouds and the backgrounds match but two of them kind of did with Marge and Homer but instead of redoing theirs to match I thought if I put Bart in the middle I can do his based on where theirs are so now the clouds in the background all kind of line up oh his yellow's better than theirs He's younger, he's fresher, his skin's brighter. There we go, it's problem solved. <laughs> I hope you like this. Let me know what you think or if you're going to try it. Um, I, sorry, I'm clicking my knuckles. I appreciate you being here so, so much and watching these videos, I really do. Um, if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Let me know who you think we're doing next. Um, thank you again. Uh, I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.